A very good evening to our viewers. Thank you for joining us tonight on the Evening Review. My name is Toivon Jabela, your host. Tonight on the platform, we are graced with the presence of uh, Werner Kanana. Uh, he's a musician also, known by his stage name, Kanaboy. And uh, this week, um, uh, he went public about the difficulties that he's enduring in his marriage something that doesn't happen a lot men do not speak up and uh, he is a rare case of a man who decided to speak up because of the challenges that he's going through thank you very much uh, Werner for making time I think it's very brave of you to come to the platform I mean you posted first on Facebook about what you're going through yes. and uh, it's very very commendable that you you made that decision because men do not speak up when they're suffering so thank you for that exactly yeah yeah um so yes uh mr Njabela. yeah uh that's what, uh, actually what it is yeah yeah yes. no, th thank you so i think i want to first read out something from your post because i want us to discuss your post throughout this conversation yes but what i like about your post and how you ended up being on the stay on on my platform tonight is because a lot of people spoke to me some mm. of them very senior people saying why don't you reach out to this young man speak to him because we never hear the stories of them of men it's only always women who are suffering and true women are suffering also mm. a lot uh, but we often do not speak to men but what what uh, impressed me most in your introduction of your post on facebook is that you are saying uh, uh some way is that part where you said that you don't want to kill yourself yes or to kill another person in this case i suppose your wife because many men who go through these things either commit suicide yes or they attack their partners and kill them and you said you don't want any of those things yes so you got married in 2017 mm -hmm. what happened afterwards um actually um I, I got married uh to be a good husband yeah and you know when you are getting married you are not just getting married to your wife yeah but you are getting married to to the whole family yes you understand um just to find out that um i'm not saying i got married to a wrong person but uh just that uh, either maybe her friends or maybe some family members uh that are not really um willing to come out and sit with us mm -hmm. like both of us so they are not yet free though so they are still uh being aside mm. so whenever maybe they want to talk to my wife they they just call her alone and uh, do their discussion on the other side mm -hmm. and um what makes me to 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 to, to come out is that um uh, she put on uh, a protection order mm -hmm. against me claiming that um i'm abusing her mm. uh, we went um uh, uh, all the way to the court and uh, she was um she requested a protection order three years protection order and she was granted uh, that order on um, 13 of uh, July. Mm. Yes, if I'm not mis mistaken. And um, my worry is, <coughs> um, I, I, I find it out a little bit like um, it's not really lawfully for someone to be granted an order without even a minimum of um, uh, proof or evidence because it's just, it's just something that she requested that I, um, I, I feel like uh, I'm not safe to live with this man. Mm -hmm. So I, I want more time to be away from him. So I want three years. Okay. And obviously ma magistrate could not even um, um, uh, offer me that time just to, 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 to put my input as well. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 was feel, I, I feel like, you know, I was not welcome in that court. Because whatever I tried to say, he's cutting me off. I hear you. Yes. So let me take it. Let me take you back a little bit. So you got married in uh, 2017. Yes. I think what your statement says here is that you have three kids together. Yes. 
were they made before or after w your mar your wedding? Uh, oh, the first the first born was before. Okay. And uh, to their end. Okay. Mm -hmm. After getting married, how was the beginning of your marriage? Was it a good marriage? Were you a good husband? Was was your good wife? Was it a good family at first? Um, or did it uh, start already falling apart from from there? Uh, for me to say that. Um, I could not really now. Uh, I I don't see the difference mm -hmm. because uh, when we were uh, boyfriend and a, and, a, and a girlfriend, there are some things that you are not really allowed to 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 to, to, to say or to engage in mm -hmm. uh, by our cultures. For example, if you are uh, uh, you, if you are just dating, there are some certain things that you are not allowed to do together. Mm. Like for, for 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 example, buying a car together or building a house together, you cannot. But uh, uh, for me to say this thing did not start now. Mm. But uh, I, I was having a hope to say maybe if we get married, mm. then things could work out. Yeah. Because uh, she been telling me, no man, um, some certain things we can only do that once we are married. Mm. But uh, since we are dating, uh, you know nowadays, uh, no one trusts you. I understand that. Yes. So, at what point during your marriage, the marriage itself, not not while you were boyfriend girlfriend, mm -hmm. at what point in your marriage did things started, did things start not going very well for your family? Uh, yes. Um, I know. Um, um, I'm, I'm 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 on public now, but uh, just allow me to say this. Yes. Um. Look, uh, uh, the the house can only be interesting to a husband when your wife is happy. Yes. So, um, in 2019, if I can remember very well, uh, I was punished by my wife, mm. uh, given six months, uh, not touching. Mm. So that pains me a lot, and that makes me to run around to my to my elders, to my father's family to go ask what is going on. Mm. So mm. things started there, started going bad there. Mm. And uh, the misunderstanding approaches, she have to leave to go to, their pa to, to her parents. Uh, obviously in our culture, when, you're when you're, your wife leaves, you have to follow mm. so that you can be given time to, 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 to sit down with, uh, you, with your both parents. But then what, I, I, I was worried a bit because when I followed her, because uh, she's from Oshivelo, mm. um, she was hiding. I don't know what did she tell the the parents that uh, maybe I'm I'm too dangerous, men. Um, I don't know, but she was hiding. Mm. I, I I I never seen her, so I even have to come back without seeing her. Yeah. But yeah, I did sit down with the parents. I told them what happened and so on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. I, I just lose hope, like, okay, um, I think I'm not also welcome here by the parents, because I don't know, I, I'm not blaming the parents, because uh, I don't know what exactly she did tell the parents. Mm. Yes. I hear you. Mm. So, <coughs> I I have to challenge you, mm. uh, Ka Mr. Kanana here, yeah. that in 2019, when your wife started denying you conjugal mm. rights, mm -hmm. as it's called, <coughs> There ought to have been something mm. that happened because uh, an adult who had that who have dedicated their life mm. to you mm. cannot just stand up one morning and say no, uh, no more sex. Yes. There ought to have been something that the husband did that angered her. Mm. Maybe you were sleeping around or mm. something like that. Did mm. you sleep around and she got afraid? Maybe you'll infect her or stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you are a musician. You are a very famous man. Maybe yeah. you are misbehaving on. On your trips, yeah, but um, sometimes, uh, but uh, that's not how it was. Mm. Uh, look, uh, when you are making fire, it starts small like this, yeah. but um, the, the more you want it to be, if you want it to be big, and then it can go big. Um, uh, it started like this. Um, my wife, uh, I think she got married when maybe for different meaning because uh, if i can remember very well she she took some credits uh, without my consent mm. 
then this huge uh, of money. I think and you mean she took debts. She, she yeah, she de took debts. loans. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. So I, 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 I've seen things started like not going well. She's not, she did not, she was not performing her duty as a, as a, as a wife in the house. Mm. So like uh, kitchen wise and so on, kids. So then I have to ask her, babe, what is going on? No, uh, you don't understand. There's things like this. Okay. So I, I, I ask her, tell me open up let me see what is going on then i found out okay she took this kind of loans and it's huge money and uh, we uh, we are paying it together so i ask what happened with who did you we discuss this uh, how did this happen no oh, this kind of money i give some of the money to let me say I, she gave the money to to a father to pay off uh, uh, a farm and I ask her, why are you not, why are you not coming on the table so we mm. can help the, the, the father together? Mm. Ah, yeah, if it's, you know, she started picking fights and uh, from there she started, okay, if it's like that, then she started punishing me like, in that way. Mm. It's not that I've been running around, look, um, uh, for me, I can call myself I'm a, a good husband. I got married to my wife when um, uh, I've been famous for more than 10 years. Mm and uh only managed to to to, to have one one child mm. yes and uh like that meaning i've been taking care of myself yeah. and i've been i've been responsible yeah i hear you yes um do you do you guys work do you have income in your house because these things can also stress people mm. maybe you're a husband you're a husband that uh under, that is undergoing through challenges financially and you cannot provide for your family, for your wife, and mm. the wife gets a bit frustrated. How would you describe your level of income, both for you and your wife? Yes. Um, for me, um, I'm a hard worker. Um, I'm a businessman. I can say that uh, openly, neighbors, they know, uh, family members, they know uh, that uh, when I'm not doing well, I'm not doing well and I bring that on the table. So there's no way I can run away from that. So, and she's, she's also working. Mm. Yeah, so some of the things that are winning here, okay, they are so easy. That's why. So, okay, by that time, 2019, we've been renting a house. So, because uh, when, I, when, I was, um, when, I was, uh, when I was a single man, I used to rent a flat, just a one bedroom flat. And I become uh, a family man. I have decided, okay, so let me rent a whole house. We've been living in the three-bedroom house. Um, then when I found out that, okay, my wife is no more performing, and uh, I tried to be a good husband. I tried to discuss. I tried to pr bring things on the table mm -hmm. so we fix the things. Okay, we come together. We, I've decided, okay, so for now, since this rent, I'm paying uh, almost 10,000 a month. So what if we get just a plot and develop it on our own? Fine, uh, we did that. I, I bought the plot. Uh, I sold some of my properties and because uh, it's a time, it was time of Corona. Mm. So business was not really performing well, but I managed to sell some of my properties in order for me to buy that plot. Mm. I bought it and I developed it. It's our home up to now. Yeah. So in that house now, uh, uh, um, uh, I went to the north because uh, I'm a businessman, I'm a farmer as well. I went to the farm. She's calling, babe, uh, we need this, we need this, we need this. When I started, okay, what is wrong again? No, just come. Okay, I come to Windhoek. I ask her, please, let me see what is going on there. I've seen my wife, she's busy with these th things, these online things that are robbing people that are actually, I hate them because they are breaking houses, they are breaking relationships. A forex or which one? Is um, how do they say? I don't want to say because it's someone's business, but uh, it's just this thing of saying, um, uh, buy this, you I mean, invest how much money, and then you get this, and yeah. So I found that because spending 600 a day is a lot of money. Yeah. So I talked to her, no, listen, babe, um, um, for now, we have to move to the north because life there is easy, and um, the business is also doing all that side. Plus, you, the money that we are using here in Windhoek for kids to go to school, uh, there is for free because they can food. Schools are nearby. Yeah. And universities are also there in Enana, from Mokongo to Enana is nearby. 
so I can get uh, someone to drive them to university if they if they grown up. So she refused. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's break there just for a moment. We we'll go yeah. for a small break, mm. and then uh, we return with uh, with uh, Kanaboy. We are so excited to be kickstarting your morning with the entertainment. Everything was happening mm. during this past weekend. Yes. Exciting news. Wow, no, she was killing it already. In my opinion, I don't see anything wrong with him serving the full term. As well as keeping you informed on the issues that you need to know happening in and around our country. The evening uh, review continues. Now, yeah, so I think you've made your point on that one. Mm. So what you've said also in your post, in your post on, on Facebook is that, um, of course, you mentioned it that, you know, it's a three-year restraining order. Uh, is it called rest restraining order? Uh, where you may not, uh, you know, see your wife and, mm. and, and kids. Yes. For three years, that's a long time. Mm. But... I just want again to ask, yeah, protection order, not not restraining yes, protection yes. order. So, you, how how would uh, a protection order come by? You know, because there ought to have been some prima facie evidence that uh, you have maybe been abusive or threatening in some way. Mm -hmm. um, has your wife, for example, opened a case? against you with the police at any time before this protection order was issued? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all. So so where is the protection order coming from? That one uh, is only uh, the magistrate could tell us the truth and um, that's what makes me to come on Facebook to seek for public uh, uh, help. Yeah. Uh, like uh, I don't understand because if you, if you, the courts have rules yeah. and the articles have made it clear also mm. that someone can only be punished uh, 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 um, due to these uh, proper uh, evidence. Mm. If there's no any even a, a minimum evidence, how do you punish someone like that? Have you, have you physically touched your wife? Have you, do you beat your wife? Um, for me, uh, I think anyone can say no, even if you did. But for me, uh, for you to believe that I did not do that, we don't live alone in our house. We have housemates, we have neighbors, kids are there. Mm. I, didn't, I don't do that. And like I said, I, was, uh, I think um, I'm a lucky man because of my parents. My parents are good leaders because they've quoted me nicely. Uh, what to do if uh, your partner is doing this? No, beating is not a solution. Have you threatened her? No. Maybe things like, I'll kill you, I'll beat you up one day, and she got scared, and then she decides, no, I have to move out of... Where is, th where is this coming from? Look, like I said, in our house, we don't normally quarrel. So, and the, through those words, you can only say that, I mean, you can now easily say, I'll kill you when you are quarreling. If we, we only talk. We don't quarrel. I don't like quarreling. So if I see, even if I'm in public, then I see someone is quarreling at me, I'll let her say, oh, hey, hey, let's talk. If that person doesn't want to come down, I'll walk away. So I don't quarrel. So mm. normally I did not threaten my wife at all. Have you, um, In what way did you upset her? Because she's obviously upset about something. Of course, you said, you, you, you gave a bit of background to say, you know, she took out loans without consulting mm. and um, she wasn't performing some of the house household chores, mm. in, including properly taking care of the children. Yes. But the, the, the anger, her, her, her anger seems to be coming from somewhere and and, and sorry that i'm pressuring you but yeah but i, I seem I, I just <laughs> think that there ought to be something that mm. uh, that you did mm. because you are painting yourself also as a man of 
high morals, mm. an upright man, a kind man, a mm. provider. But there ought to be something. You can't be perfect. There ought to be something that, yes. you're, not, that you're not telling me. Yes. The only thing maybe I can say what makes her not, uh, 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 what makes her upset mm. is, um, is for me to go out of the house. And that one uh, actually happened because of her. Mm. So, uh, look, I'm a man and I got married at an uh, earlier stage. So it's because I want to be a husband. I want someone to be at my side. Mm. So when she have decided, it's not, it's not it's before the prote protection order, she went, like I said, uh, she went to her parents and they, 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 hide, they, they hided her. Uh, she went to stay there. Mm. So how can I be, uh, I'm the husband and I'm their wife in their house. So I decided to be a husband. And w when my wife is not around, uh, or maybe the house is too hot, I go out for fresh air. Mm. So I, I, at least I managed to, 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 to have someone outside there who is um, comfort, comforting me. So when I'm, when I'm not, uh, look, when I don't feel uh, happy at home. Mm. So maybe that's the reason why she is not happy, yeah. but that could not make me to go through jail and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. She could so maybe, maybe dump me or something and say let's divorce or something. Yeah. So going out meaning uh, meeting another woman in uh, some sort of woman that you fall back when you have issues at home. I is that what you're saying? Um, yes. And I think um, um, uh, I'm just a lucky man because hmm. uh, uh, when I, uh, I started seeing things are not going well. I could not wait until uh, the last stage. Yeah. I decided, no, uh, I'm not the one to wait. Uh, let me just go out. If I get someone there who can make me happy, mm -hmm. let me fall in love. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. So as I'm talking, like right now, uh, if my wife can decide to go, she's more than welcome to go, then just keeping me here as a useless husband. Yeah. I don't have a wife. I want to have a wife. So... A husband who is going out with other women is not a useless husband in your view? Uh, no, uh, I, I believe the woman I'm going to get is not going to punish me for six months. <laughs> yes. I'm not, I'm not laughing at your situation. Please don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's just the way you, you, you are coining your, your words. But um, what if the opposite was true? What mm. if your wife was the one going out and seeing other men? You will surely be you will also react in the manner that she probably acted, isn't it? I will follow uh, the right way. Uh, I will not uh, uh, order the police to jail her up. I will go, I will run back where we started yeah. to my parents and I will report the thing. Uh, you know, as men, um, I, can, I, can, I can see things happening, but I'm ashamed to say, look, my wife is sleeping around because they will laugh at me. Mm -hmm. Even if she did so, I will not say it publicly. Yeah. I would rather protect her for that one. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, be, let me, I'm a man, uh, yeah, that one, I can take it on my own. But um, <coughs> are you suggesting that uh, that she was unfaithful and that you, when you also became un unfaithful was because it, you were retaliating at what she did? Something similar? Um, um, uh, look, I don't want to lie, yeah. but... Uh, uh, in Oshvambo, there's this says that says, yeah. Now, who is here to stay alone? Yeah. Yeah. So even to make it worse for three years alone like this, even we were, when we were dating, we were just dating. I was in Windhoek and she was in Hrothfondin. Uh, After three months, I must run there. She's calling nonstop. What makes her to go for three years now? Yeah. Uh, there, I don't know, maybe public can judge. judge there, but not me. Okay. But I haven't got there with a man, fiscally, yeah. mm. but uh, you can, if, if someone is walking there and that person is not walking straight, you can see that, oh, that person is not walking straight. Yeah. Yeah. I have two more questions for you. So, mm. <coughs> you mentioned jail twice mm. now. Did she get you arrested at any stage? Yes. For what? Um, that one, uh, uh, I'm not sure it's she have her own reason because she's a police officer, by the way. Mm. 
Mm. Um, the day I got jailed up, I was peacefully sitting just in my coach home with my kids, even having my red wine. Just saw police are popping in with her and she pointed at me because uh, we were two men there. It was me and my neighbor. Um, she pointed at me, here's Mr. Kana. And the police officer said, yeah, Mr. Kana, um, we are here for you. We, your wife have complained that you, you have a misunderstanding in this house. So for now, you have to go with us. And tomorrow you go for, you, you should come, so you go to gender. Mm. I don't know now if that police officer was trained to lie to people. I never seen gender, knew nothing from this protection order until today. How many times? Was it only once that you were arrested or more than once? It was just once. It was just once? Yes. Now, the final question to you, Mr. Kanana, is... Mm. Um, I think if your wife was on this platform tonight with you, mm. she would have countered a lot of things that you say today. And I'm not saying that I'm mm. in doubt your version, mm. but I'm sure that she would have said, but, but this is what you did. Mm. I went to the police because you did this. Mm. Uh, what is it, very briefly, what is it that you regret in mm. your marriage, mm. which if you had a second chance, if you had to start afresh, what is it that you are going to do differently? Assume this was 2017 now, mm. getting married now. What is it that you were, would have avoided knowing now what you didn't know then? Look, um, to be honest, uh, as I'm talking to you, there's nothing... I can remember that can make me regret. Yeah. I even feel more happy. I'm even fit now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm telling you, uh, Jabela, in that house, uh, I, come, I come home after work, no food, plate even just on the table for me. She cook and they eat with the kids, they go sleep. And for me, if I don't make a plan for drive to Kapana, then that's okay. That's how I've been living. Yeah. And I'm not lying to you. I have people that are her sister, her own sister. She's the one who used to bother herself, uh, like to prepare. And I always, ah, no, it's okay. Ah, it's okay. You see? Yeah. Like that. We've been living uh, with her sister and uh, uh, her brother. Her brother has been, uh, he's a student, he's doing education. He's he, he been in, uh, in our house for, for, for more than three years. Yeah. But um, for me, I've been taking it easy, like, okay. Um, I'm a son to my father, man. Let it be. It's okay. Yeah. But now things are getting out of my hand. Um, and actually, I'm not only doing it for myself, for other men out there. Yes. Because uh, uh, too many people are complaining and they're, sa they're suffering the same way I'm suffering. And uh, uh, just to not leave this one open, I think the law have to... Um, mm, mm, I recheck it very well there because uh, many uh, relationships are uh, breaking because of uh, 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 our law. Because yeah. how do the magistrate just uh, arrive at the decision without uh, uh, proper evidence? I hear you. Yeah, so that one, uh, I want public to quote and, and to, 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 to judge on that one. Thank you, sir. Because um, mm, mm, he's not going to, I'm not going to take it. And uh, uh, for me, what I want uh, the public to help me or anyone out there is to help me divorce this woman. I hear That's you. all. I hear you. I, I want nothing than divorce. I hear you. Yes. Mr. Ganana, th thank you for coming to the platform. You're welcome, sir. Um, we hope uh, if, it, uh, if it ends in divorce that it goes, that it happens peacefully. Yes. That uh, nothing tragic will happen. But thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. That's... Uh, Kana Boy, musician, husband, very unhappy husband at the moment, uh, telling his story. Thank you for watching.